knee pulls, right? Pull the knee up and release. Oh, stretch out those hip flexors. Oh, I'm sore a little bit. After that, we pull the leg behind, stretching out our quad. Pull and release. I don't like when there's not a lot of people. After our quad, we got on <clears throat> high kicks, stretching out that hammy. Good, now I want everyone to do 10 air squats, nice and deep. All the way down, all the way up, 10 of them. One of the major adjustments has been my wife's inability to pay attention to me every moment of every that we're together because she's obviously working and doing her job. And it's been a big adjustment for me. Not Thanks mine, my wife doesn't small work. Small child. <laughs> I'm working, Jack. Please go entertain yourself. All right, so goblet loaded squats. Does everyone have a chair, something that they could, Mike's got one. Abby, you got something you could do. Oh, you got the bench. You have a bench. Perfect. Um, Christina, do you have something to do a pistol squat off of? Awesome. Okay. So before we, uh, before we get started, I want everyone to do three inchworms with shoulder taps. Okay. So walk your hands out. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, walk them back three times. And then we're going to do jumping jacks for 30 seconds. All right, guys, 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Nice and light on those feet. Let's go. Warm your body up. Jumping jacks. Halfway. Good. Nice and light on those feet. Five. Four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, really quickly, I'm going to go over this. You need that chair. You're going to goblet load. Everyone can see my chair. It's actually like black, but it's there. So whether you're going to use your kettlebell or two dumbbells or just one dumbbell, depending on the weight, I'm goblet loaded. My legs up in the air, right, for my pistol. I sit all the way down, and then I drive through my heel and I stand all the way up. Look, look at it on this side, legs up. I sit all the way down, and I stand all the way up. Okay, you're gonna do eight a side. Then you guys are gonna use your ball or your, whatever you're using for your hamstring curls. 20 of them, keeping your hips as elevated as possible, okay? And then you have uh, high plank rows, which look like this, okay? One dumbbell. <clears throat> my high row plank position basically it's just a single arm row or single arm renegade row right and then the high plank and i'm just rowing like that okay making sure that my hips don't move and those are going to be 12 aside making sure my hips don't move and my chest don't move okay so everyone ready we start with pistols eight each sit all the way down all the way up goblet loaded Drive through your heel. Oh, good job, Abby. Good. Good job, Christina. Good job, Mike. Now, to challenge these, right, make sure that you go down controlled. Don't just plop her into the chair. Go down controlled. Yeah, there you go. 
Let's see it abs, that or girl, good. We're not just letting our body fall right to the seat. We're going down nice and controlled. Eight aside, then we got 20 hamstring curls. Foam roller is perfect. 20 of them, good Mike. <clears throat> you become a master at those foam rolling hamstring curls. Come on, Abby, push off that heel all the way down, all the way up, good. Those look good, they're nice and controlled. Jax, what are you doing over there, Jack? <laughs> yeah, it takes me like a minute to figure out where my calves need to go. Yeah, it sort of starts at like the back of the Achilles. That's where you do it, and your feet have to move around it, kind of. And it like rolls down as you go through the reps. Christina's fancy. She's got a stability ball. Abby, do you have a ball too? Oh, look at you. Perfect. Get those hips up nice and high. Christina, high plank. Stability ball. What's that? Oh, it's my stability ball. Right. Yeah, but I, Julian uses it. <laughs> and now I do. Good job, guys. You got 12 aside for those, Mike, the uh, high plank rows. Those look perfect. Make sure our feet are spread out a little bit too, right? You, our feet aren't together when we're in that high plank. Abby, because you have, yeah, so see how Jack's doing his? Because you have a bench, you could do it right off the bench. So you can go like this. Mike, you could actually do yours off the chair too. So you can do your elevated high plank. Like I'm up here and I'm rowing just like that off of that bench. Oh, they hardly read it. It's going to be harder because you know what? Your, your, your range of motion with your row is going to be better okay. because it's really for our back. Yeah, I mean, that's perfect. So, Mike, if that chair holds you, I would do that. Right. The only reason I put the high row – I mean, if people don't have that or if they're doing it outside, I would say just do it off the ground. But you guys all have something to row off of. That's perfect. Good, Christina. Good, Jack. Give me one second. got to grab some coffee. Awesome, we got four rounds here, guys. And then the theme of this week is Tabata in between at one, mo one movement, Tabata after every strain circuit. Good, Christina, good, Abby. Going down controlled, we're not just letting our body drop. Yeah, that a girl, good. <clears throat> Oh my God, it's a hot cup of coffee. Jack Tack Tack. Trying to think. Oh, let me watch some weird stuff last night. My wife and I have this weird thing with like crimes and murder mysteries. What did you watch? We watched um, the. Uh, it's like they've never solved the John Bernay Ramsey case. So they hired this like FBI expert to like try to like figure out who did it. And he has like four suspects. That was such a strange thing because it happened in 19. When did it happen? 90. Well, she was born in 1990. <laughs> so maybe it was 96 or 95 or something like that. All right, so it's a crazy it's, Jack, you know that story, right? Yeah, I was gonna say Jamine Ramsey's still getting clicks these days. Like, haven't we gotten Well because dude, they never dude, they never solved that murder. They never solved it. Yeah, but isn't there like a statute of limitations? Don't they stop giving a shit eventually? Well, this is like the, someone privately funded to hire what do you have to say, Abby? <laughs> You're on mute. You're on mute. You're muted. I can't hear you. It was the brother, right? 
They don't know. They don't know that. They don't know that. He really was the brother. That fucked with my head when I, like, it blew my mind. It was the brother. Okay, so so that's the thing, right? You can stay unmuted. That's the thing is they had DNA. Of, I mean, like, the thing is, is the, the kids, of course, the brother's going to have hair follicles and, like, his, you know what I mean? Like, his stuff around his little sister. But, like, it's, it's you don't, I don't understand that note. There was somebody wrote a note. I think what happened was is the brother did it. The parents wrote the note and they didn't want the brother to get caught. They were like, oh my God, our son killed our daughter. And now we have to write a ransom note. Yeah, that's 100% what happened. That's what my guess would be. Because the girl was found in their like wine cellar. Like, it's like, that's like, what? Nobody's kidnapping your child the whole time and just keeping her in the house. Where's the brother now? Uh, That's a very good question. That's a very good question. He did an interview. He did a Dateline interview like two years ago. After that documentary, right? right? He's living like a quiet life in California, like barely working. I mean, he's- I hear he's got a live stream fitness business. (laughs) (laughs) I bet you anything, it's like, it could have been an, I mean, an accident, who knows, but it's just, that's just crazy. I don't know. That's, she was so, she was, I mean, first of all, uh, we're, I mean, I, I feel like New England is different. Connecticut is different. We're not like big pageant people. But I would, if my daughter was ever like, yeah, I want our daughter to do pageant stuff, I'd be like, no, that's just weird. Jack, would you ever let Maddie do pageant stuff? Somebody came up to me and was like, we want to put your kid in a Gerber commercial. We'll give you 50 grand. I'd be like, yup. Oh, yeah, but a Gerber commercial is different. That's different. If they were like, Let's pay to go. No, 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 no. Yeah, do- dress your child up like an adult. Like, that's just weird. I'm going to have enough trouble if she gets into cheerleading, not arguing with her that it's not a sport every chance I get. <laughs> so. Don't say that in front of Liz Benedict. Four rounds here, guys. Four rounds. Eight on the pistols. 20 hamstring curls, and then 12 on the high plank rows. And then we're going to do some Tabata together. Four rounds. Mike, what round are you on? Just ending three. Sweet. Christina, what about you? Ending three. Sweet. Yeah, that's good, Mike. Good range. It's hard to work our back right now at home, but yeah. we're doing the best we can between banded rows and dumbbell rows. I have rings that I put up in my tree. Ooh, so you've been able to do pull-ups? Yeah, I feel like once a week. Dude, that's you're 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 in the uh, you're in the minority. Not everyone's able to do that. Just a pain in the ass because I don't want to leave them up there. So you got to put them up and take them down every time? Yeah, it's not that bad, but um, they can't do it during the work week. I never thought I'd be jealous of Mac Rocky's garage gym until now. <laughs> Haven't you been jealous of it? I mean, I never cared because I have my own gym. We have our own gym. You know, like, I don't need, like, we're down there every day, you know, like, but now, like, during the quarantine, it's like, oh, he literally doesn't have to go anywhere. Oh, bro, you just, you don't live it, I guess, like, Rocky. Yeah, well, I don't have the space to do that, dude. The rock star is probably loving quarantine. Oh, uh, he, he does, man. He goes down to Milford to teach Zoom classes from there, um, like, three times a week. But besides that, he's, like, just Mr. Dad. Mr. Dad lifting weights in the garage. What are their Zoom classes like? Basically, he and I were talking about it, just like ours. He was like, oh, he's like, I've actually looked at some of your programming for ours. He's like, because he's like, some of these people don't, you know what they do too is like they assign, um, he's been assigning like running homework. And I was like, do people do it? He's like, he's like, they, they say that they do. Yeah, I would totally lie to you. I went for a run in your neighborhood, uh, what was that, Monday, Christina? It was nice. Yeah. So I, hate, 
I hate running, but if you break it up, like if you do like run a mile and then do something else and run a mile, it's not that bad. I went outside and just did like 100 yard gasters the other day, like four of them. That was more than enough. I haven't sprinted in a while, but I've been crushing EMOMs myself, like you guys. Like I've been doing a lot of EMOMs. Guys, once we get our four rounds in, we're going to need a kettlebell. Abby, what do you have to swing? Dumbbells? Kettlebells, just really oh. light. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Abs, how much are your dumbbells? Um, 15s and 20s. Why don't you put two 15s together and just hold them like this and swing right. them that way? Nice. Well, how heavy is your kettlebell? 20. 20. Yeah, use the two 15s, put the two dumbbells together and swing them that way. <laughs> Good job, guys. Finish up, and then we're gonna uh, we'll start our Tabata. Good job, guys. <sighs> Jack, did you have tacos for Taco Tuesday and Cinco de Mayo? Yep. I had to put lime in my Bud Light, though. We didn't have any real stuff. I have a ton of tequila here. I made <clears throat> I made uh, Casamigos Reposado fresh lime juice and then just a little bit of agave nectar. Shook it up, put it over ice with the lime. Oh, my God, it's delicious. It's awesome. It is delicious. It's so delicious. Like, my wife's like, this isn't a margarita. I was like, I never said it was a margarita. I was like, it's tequila Better. with lime, with a little bit of lime juice and some agave nectar. That's it. All right, guys, we're doing Tabata. We got three rounds here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to add a round. So we're going to do four. Okay? So it's four rounds. 20 on, 10 off. Grab your kettlebell. Get ready to swing. When you guys are doing your swing, all you guys know your swings, especially this group, make sure that the weight stays close. We're not letting it drop too low, right? Keeping our stomach nice and tight. You got 10 seconds, then you're going to hear the buzzer, and we're going. Yo, we need to think of a theme for next week. I kind of like that. Try to keep on mixing it up. Dude, you should see how I sit when I program. I sit down. I'm just like, Abby, swing. I know, I'm just trying to. Yeah, like that. Rest. That's perfect. Are they blocks? Are they block dumbbells? Well, yeah. Just There's like this one, but then I have this one. I might try these. All right. Let's go. The block one might be easier because then they fit together perfectly. Yeah. Come on, Christina, why aren't you swinging? Air emergency. There you go, Abs. Rest. It's a short rest. We got two more. Pick them up. Let them Let's run. go. Good job, guys. Good job. Good swings. I like it. Seven seconds. Rest. One more. One more. <laughs> one more set. No Albert Nudek today. Go. Last round. Albert just signed in? No, I said no Albert Nudek today. We'll probably be at 9-3. He's probably hung over. Ten <laughs> seconds. Well done. Good job, guys. All right. So next strength block, we have dumbbell chest flies. Abby, you should use your bench for that, right? Dumbbell chest flies. Oh, and Christina, you could use that stability ball for those chest flies, right? Laying down on the ground. If you don't have it, it's fine. When we do that, we want to have a slight elbow bend. Slight elbow bend, right? Start here, open them all the way up, bring them together. 
So if you're doing them from the ground like Mike is, Mike, you want your tricep in the back of your arm to lay, uh, to go completely flat to the ground, okay? Then we have banded donkey kicks. This is where I have to set up the band with a tri as a triangle. So I'm going to take my band. I'm going to put it on the back of my foot, okay? And then what I'm going to do is one goes between my legs, the other one goes to the side, and I make a triangle. And from there, that's how I kick back. And I get full extension, and I drive through my foot, squeezing my glute. Okay, you guys are gonna get 15 aside for those banded donkey kicks. And then we have goblet loaded Cossack squat. So our Cossack squat, we're just going back and forth with our reverse lunge and you're pulling your toe up towards the ceiling. So I'm goblet loaded. I spread my feet out and I go, and I go back and forth. Okay, those are eight each. So those are 16 total. Eight each way, so 16 total. So we have dumbbell flies, 12. Then we have 15 banded donkey kicks each. If you don't have a band, just do normal donkey kicks, okay? And then uh, goblet loaded Cossack squats, eight each way. Here we go. Start with our flies, 12 reps. Good, Abby. Good, Mike. Squeeze your butt up, Christina, on those. Hips oh, up, had a girl. Today? I thought that was on Thursday. What? The Blue Bridge version. No, no, no. She's just on the stability ball. Oh, my bad. I was going to say, we're doing that Friday. So. No, she's good. Kick it straight back, Mike. That a boy. Perfect. It's sort of like a rhythm, too. The donkey, the band of donkey kicks, there's a little bit of a rhythm to it meaning you have to stay in the same plane because if you start to go too low or too high, it's going to mess up where the band is and how your leg moves. Good, Abby. Get full extension. That a girl. Squeeze your butt at the top. Am I going straight out or up? Like, is it straight back? It's straight back. It's straight back. Just so try to get full extension. So here's the deal. You don't want to go up because if you go up, you're still going to start to go into your lower back, right? So you're literally just kicking straight back. So watch me. Ready? I'm going to show you something. Watch. So this motion, I go straight back that way. Because if I start to go up like that, it's going to go into my lower back. But yeah. that plane stays even. See how my heel and my top of my butt are about the same? Like it's not, my heel isn't higher than my butt. It's even. That's what you want to think about. Good job, Mike. Try to point that toe up. Yes, Abby, that's good. You should feel those in your glutes. I mean, it all depends on how strong your band is. Christina, shoot that leg straight back. There you go. Those are 15 aside, and then you guys got 16 Cossack lunges back and forth. Coffee is good. Jack's got a big boy band. Strong glutes. Good job, guys. Yeah, the only thing, Abby, I would say is, is just make sure that you're trying to extend the leg. Like, the knee bend gets locked out at the very end. Okay. In motion. Now you got Cossack squats, 16, eight aside. Good job, Mike. Good, Abby. Back and forth. Yep. Yep. And you want that toe to tilt up the one, the leg that's not the non-working side. You want to try to rotate that toe up towards the ceiling. Yes. Just like that. Good. In my demo video, these were, I used the 45. They're ugly. Your Cossacks are? Yeah. Like you can hear just my like. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dude, it's one of those motions that is kind of awkward. We have four rounds here, guys. Four rounds. It's hard not to like turn your body. here guys <laughs> what are you listening to Abby good job Mike Mike you're only on your second wait I'm behind you right yeah. what round are you on guys I don't know am I doing something wrong no 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 he's asking what round you on I'm starting three starting three that was just his second he finished. I was way behind. Uh. There you go, Abby. Good. Job guys, four rounds here, four rounds, and we're hitting Tabata again. So for all of our like dumbbell work, I've been taking my heavy kettlebell and my lighter kettlebell, I'm like offsetting. So I'm doing these flies with a. Yeah, it's awkward. Kettlebell's awkward. For up, but like the, with the the, twin, the kettlebell, it feels like a bicep curl almost. You know, you can't. It's just not the same. I'm gonna go down to the. Uh, I'm gonna go down to the gym today. And do a. Um, an EMOM is going to be a 10 calorie row, five devil presses with 50s, and then a 10 calorie skier. Well, I have a uh, question for the group. What's that? So, guys, we don't know exactly yet, but like we'll obviously have like guidelines to follow for like when everybody comes back. And I was saying to Zach yesterday, it probably makes sense to keep our programming like limited to like a kettlebell and a set of dumbbells for everybody. Just like keeping all this important things in mind. Oh, so I never told you what orange theory is policies. Be. No, I'm just curious if these guys, like if you guys came in and we never put rowers or bikes or sleds or barbells back in, you think you'd be like disappointed or would you just be happy to be back in the gym in general? Uh, both. Yeah. I, I think you. initially we would be happy to be back in the Love gym the and eventually that would, we'd want to, reintroduce them so yeah. so That's basically we can. basically um like any of the weight handoff is going to be like so like every so like what the instructor is going to have to like wipe well, obviously we wipe everything down and then once you're given your kettlebell and dumbbells that's like your kettlebell and dumbbell for the class right and then you have to hand it back to the instructor that wipes it all down puts it on the rack like we're not like you can't let other people put stuff away like it's going to be just like it's just going to take longer to clean stuff up that's all and when it comes to the cardio equipment it's just going to be i don't know we'll have to see how that works i got a really good email yesterday from crossfit nantucket that outlined exactly what they're doing and how they're doing it and it's really really thorough i'll forward it to you guys yeah yeah, yeah. send it i send it i read um 
I, I read uh, Orange Theory's email too. It basically was just like everything's going to be handed out through the instructor. Like there's nothing, there's no grabbing your own stuff. Like once you're assigned something, it will be yours. Yeah, but I think the, the greater concern of germ sharing is hands on handles, not like I think keeping one kettlebell would be easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the cardio equipment is going to be tricky for sure, but I mean, we'll have to figure that out. One person on them at a time. You have a circuit where there's a bike, a row, or whatever, and you're on this and you're on that. Like, or it's like, all right, you guys, you three get to assign the rower today, right? You get to use the rower, but you're the only three people that get the rower. And on Wednesday, you guys get to use the rower. Right. We're going to be limited with class people, too. It's going to have to be, people are going to have to register, sign up the night before. That'll be fun. It's definitely going to be a little bit tricky. That'll be fun. Well, just to, just to be back to the gym will be nice. Four rounds here, guys. Once you got your four rounds in, we're picking up our kettlebell to do swings again. Also, just as an FYI, there haven't been any cases that are known of people contracting COVID from surface. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's been here. It so it's all my... people to people? What's that? It's all person to person is what you're saying? It's all person to person and air, air based. So why am I wiping everything down? Well, I mean, you need to wipe everything down anyway, because more than likely what coronavirus also does is that it attaches onto staff bacteria. It really likes staph aureus, especially, which is what you get in gyms all the time. So um, that's what the wiping down thing is. People but, are going to be able to take that immunity test too, right? Like, isn't those going to be more available? They are going to be more available, but we really don't know what they what they tell us. I mean, immunity is also they're not they're not perfect. It's not something that you necessarily want to rely upon exclusively. Christina, tell them they don't they don't bond to the proteins like the flu. No, they don't. They don't at all. They're non-lasting immune immunities. Me and Christina broke it all. If you guys sign in early on a Monday morning, you'll, you'll learn a lot. Ask Abby. Christina gives us like the uh, the real <laughs> President Trump press conference. Gives us the, <laughs> the hard facts. Yeah. Finish up, guys. Four rounds, and we're going back to our swings. Don't drink Clorox. <laughs> Christina, you starting a new job yet? Next Friday. Awesome. Congrats again. Thanks, dude. Working with uh, Lou Christina makes me want a little ginger boy. <laughs> That's possible, too. It's in, my, it's in Christina's jeans. She it was is. a little, she's a little ginger. Is. is it on your side? Do you have anybody on your side? Yeah, my little sister was a redhead. Ooh. She dyes her hair now, but she was a redhead. Yeah, then you guys have it. Wait, she dyes her hair not to be red? Yeah. Like she'd be like fire engine red? It'd be dark. It's dark. She's like dark. When she was a little kid, it was fire engine red. And then like as she got older, it got a little darker, but it's still red. Like her eyebrows were red. You can take the generations out of Ireland. You can take the Ireland out of the generation. Christina's the same way. She's like a strawberry blonde. All right, guys, we're doing Tabata. Everyone up. You got 10 seconds. Four rounds. Grab your two dumbbells, Abby. Everyone else, grab your kettlebells. Listen for the beat. We got the beat. We got the beat. Here we go. Swing. Good swings. Keep your stomach nice and tight. Job, one down. I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like today, but hopefully it's as nice as yesterday. Let's go. Here we go. It's overcast today, rainy. Uh, hey, we got four tanning days, though. Yeah, dude. We had some good days. You go shirtless going on. Jack, I was thinking of you yesterday. I wasn't wearing safety goggles doing my weed whacking. Took a. You have to. Took took one to the face. 
After you said that about me lying in the ground, the tech new bath. Oh. Let's go. Go, go, go. Swing, swing. I know, Mike, you know what I was like? I heard my dad's voice in my head being yeah. like, where's your safety goggles, son? Where's your safety goggles? And I'm like, shut up, dad. I'm 35. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't where's matter. You, you take yeah. a rock to the face. A rock to the face hurts at all ages. Rest. But it's so funny. You're like, I don't need to put goggles on. I'm just going to wee whack around here. Another bad could happen. I wear my muck boots, too, up to my knees. That's the way to do it. Last one, let's go. Last swings, last swings. Come on, guys. Get him in, get him in, get him in. Good, Abby. Good job, Mike. Good job, Christina. Good job, Jack. Keep going, keep going. Five seconds. Well done. Good job, rest. All right, so our last straight block, we have low planks on our elbows, feet together for 60 seconds. And then we're doing fire hydrants, 15 aside. So everyone knows their low plank. I'll demo real quick. All right, just make sure that our elbows are directly underneath, right? Keeping our stomach nice and tight. And then our fire hydrants, it's going to look like this, right? We're opening up all the way to the side. Let's try to get up as high as you can. 15 on one side, 15 on the other. Let's have everyone get ready for their plank. 60 seconds here. Elbows directly underneath our shoulders. Everyone ready? Jack, you ready? Go ahead, I'll yeah. be up. Everyone up. Everyone up. <sighs> yeah, my dad would have been thoroughly disappointed in me weed whacking with no eye protection on. Twenty seconds. How long is this playing? 60? Yeah, it's 60 seconds. And then you're going right into 15 fire hydrants a side. And then we got one more Tabata of swings and we're done. This is three rounds, guys. Three rounds. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Pop up on your hands and knees. Now you're doing your fire hydrants, 15 aside. Get them out. Good job. Reach as far wide as you can on these guys. Push to the wall. Try to get that knee up as high as you can. Keep the knee bent though, right? It's like a 90 degree knee bend. Is the band on my ankles good, or should I have it on my knees? No, you should put it on your knees. If you're going to band it, Mike, put it on your knees. Watch the difference that's going to feel. Feel that? Yep. Otherwise, if it's on your ankle, what's going to happen is your, uh, your ankle is going to start to cave in inside of your knee because the knee should be the first thing that moves out to the side. Once everyone's got 15 aside, we're going right back to our plank. You guys are ready. Mike, you ready? Yeah. All right. On our elbows, get set. And we're up. Feet together. Stomach nice and tight. No butts up in the air. Good job, guys. Oh, that's you guys watch any of that Korean baseball yesterday? No. No. They're airing Korean baseball with no fans on ESPN now. Huh. It's like the only major sport playing right now in the entire universe. Dude, I have one of my, my hockey buddies from Cortland were texting. Like, we had a group chain going on. And this time of year, we, when it got nice out, we used to take the big screen TV and bring it outside and watch playoff hockey. And it's like, oh, man, I'm, this is my favorite time of year for sports with playoff basketball and playoff hockey. 15 seconds, guys. Like, my wife is so happy that she doesn't have to watch hockey game after hockey game after basketball game after basketball game. And then we get into fights about LeBron James. Five, four, three, two, one. Right into your fire hydrants, 15 aside. No one hates LeBron James more than my wife. Why? She just thinks he likes him. He's like, uh, I like him. He, she just thinks he complains. He's like, you know, she's like uh, – I'd say she's she was more of a Kobe fan, I guess. 
Teen's definitely more of a Kobe than a LeBron. Yeah, yeah. She's more. I mean, I, I didn't. I, I liked Kobe too. I mean, but I don't know. LeBron. We grew up just like watching him on ESPN. Like that was our generation. He was our guy. Holy shit. <clears throat> We got one more round, guys, after this. And then we got another thing at Tabata, and then we got, a, we got a day. It's a day. Just another day. You guys ready for your last plank? Let me know. All right, ready. Christina, get off your phone. Get set. Up. Parents of young children, what have you guys had to be, like, hyper vigilant on, like, screen time? Or is it like, I don't give a fuck as long as they're quiet? <laughs> A little bit of Dude, I've heard some things. It's funny talking to some of my clients. It's like, it's hard to get like, like, like the kids. I mean, I'm, I think the kids are, some of them are smarter than you think. Like they're almost like, they can't really give me a grade based on this. Like they all know it's based on participation. <clears throat> so they're just like mailing it in and the teachers are getting super frustrated. Yeah, dude, Rachel's friends, like her teacher friends, like they'll set up these calls with like multiple staff. 20 seconds. Off. 15 seconds. What does Rachel say? In terms of what? Like, what are the teachers? Um, I think for the most part, they've all gotten into the swing. Four, she, three, two, one. Finish your fire hydrants. She's always been really good at, like, just going to work and coming home. Like, she's good at what she does, and she enjoys it. So she's been able to, like, when she gets blown off, it's like, all right, I'm going to go hang out with my kid for a half hour. Now I don't have to do anything. And then some of the teachers just get pissed because they do have to put time into it before the kid shows up onto the call. Yeah. He's, like, frustrated having a waste I couldn't, energy. Um, I couldn't imagine my father trying to teach biology and chemistry through Zoom at home with me and my brother not having sports or school. It would have been like, I just, my mom was laughing. We saw my dad. I saw my dad for the first time, actually. And we just like socially distanced and sat out on the porch. And I was like, dad, imagine if I was like me and John were home, no sports, no school with you all day while you're trying to teach class through the computer. He was like, no, he's like, I don't imagine that. He's like, that just, you just, he's just like, you just envisioned the hell for me. All right. Pick up your kettlebell guys. We got one more round of Tabata. It's our finisher. 10 seconds. Last round. Four rounds and we're done. Here we go. I would have been eating a lot of grilled cheeses and tomato soup for lunch. And probably if it had been like a drill sergeant, it would have been interesting. Rest. Good. One down. Pick them up. Let's go. Once you guys hear that first buzzer after the rest, it should be like getting ready. The weight should be in hand. It's only 10 seconds of rest. Good job, Abby. Good Mike. Good swings, guys. I like it. Nice group of people that know how to swing a kettlebell. Nice and easy. Rest. I have to say, and Jack will relate to this, teaching through Zoom, if we get someone new, like this is nice. We all know how you guys move. Come on, round, Let's go. round three, we've had some new people, which is great signing up for the Zoom classes, but like not being able to like correct them in person and like tell them how to do it through the computer is not easy. Dude, and I feel like when you go back to it, like, oh, no, 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 more like this. It can be embarrassing, you know? Yeah, we got one more. Well, yeah, like, so Jack, there were some things the new lady was doing. Like, I was like, okay, that I kept on correcting her. And I was like, all right, I'm just gonna let her, let her do that one round. <laughs> Last round. You'll do the next circuit ride. Good job, guys. Finish it. This is it. Good job, Abby. Good job, Christina. Good, Mike. Come on. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. Well done. Awesome. I have to go. So you guys need to make sure that you stretch today. Good job, everybody. You guys will see me on Saturday. Thank you. Good job, Thanks, Abby. Guys. Good job, Mike. Good job, Tina. Good one, guys. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.